Hi, Barbara. <laughs> I hope that you liked your session. Um, so I'm going to draw a card for you. Uh, the, some kind of deterioration. I don't. I don't know if it's. It's. It's like right here where my love handles are. <laughs> And where my my hip so it's it's in between like right here torso um, I don't know what that is feet I feel feet problems I don't know <laughs> excuse me I'm very sorry so I have never met a Oh, I've never come in contact with a royalty. Royal. Synchronicity. I don't know, I just get such a such a calm. It's, you, you, calm. Calm. Completely calm. Just awesome energy. Awesome energy. Just all kinds of uh, icy herbs like like mine. Like those hanging right there. Like on my mint, and my sage, my mint, my sage, all my roses. I feel like you have. I feel like you've got lavender. I see lots of lavender, lavender and sweet grass. And then the Native American thing comes into play, and I can see certain stones and just different, different objects. But your your past being an Egyptian priestess or a pharaoh. That's incredible. So I really just want to kind of just get a little more insight on you. So. I just think it's really cool though that you contacted me and your energy was so amazing. I just remember talking to you and it was just incredible and don't be surprised if I message you and I come with channeled messages because that happens a lot it will happen a lot I like to develop friendships out of this out of what I do all right you're one powerful powerful woman I, I just I What's your beauty secret? Seriously. I want your beauty secret cuz you look my age. And no, I will not reveal your birth date. None of that on video. All of that is confidential, private between me and my clients. Everything that I've talked about, the herbs, the remedies, all of the different, uh, just nature and being outdoors. And are you a moon, a moon person, a moon person? So what's really funny here is in the world, um, the woman is holding what appears to be something like a staff from Egypt. So that is the world within the cosmic tarot. So it shows me just you're cultured, you're knowledgeable, you have wisdom, 
you always turn your knowledge into wisdom. So just having knowledge is just nothing. But turning knowledge and applying it into wisdom and applying it in your everyday life from everything from the past that you've learned. You see. Do you see? Are you a seer? Seer, I see it. You are a healer. You are a seer. Water. Lots of water around you. The birds. There's definitely the bird there. But I, I still see um, you. You see. Like you see things. Dreams. Are you a prophetic dreamer? Are you some kind of prophetic dreamer? This shows me like early, early morning. I, I, I get early morning from this, so I take it that you're an early morning riser. I get a lot from this. I get a lot of seeing. Uh, the world also represents travel. Are you going anywhere soon? Like maybe a spiritual retreat? somewhere. I can see that you're very protective. Do you have kids? Two? Two kids, maybe? I see a bit of a temper. But I think it is very well, since you're very well cultured and you're very well, uh, you, you seem very balanced. Very balanced. Yet, I see that, that temper, that energy, want to kind of flare up, but I think from your mind, I think you can totally control your body and your emotions and what you're sensing. You can either let it all in or you can either block it all out. So you definitely have some kind of abilities with this card. It's a major card. Um, travel. Travel. That's all I can think of is travel. Where are you going? I see just uh, it's spiritual awakening. Are you awakening now? Are you practicing any kind of kundalini? Any kind of energy work? Like I see, I feel like my chakras are... They're like trying to... Especially here. Right here. This, this, uh, the throat chakra. It's, it's, it feels funny. What? Why do, why does that feel funny? Right here. And then it's like, this section, middle section, is, it's trying to align itself back. I don't know, accident maybe? Some kind of accident? Do you plant garden? Do you have a garden that you plant? Did you plant a garden? Are you planting a garden or planning on planting a garden? If you do, put roses in there. If you do, put roses in there. I don't know, I th birds, birds, do you bird watch too? You have a lot of amazing energy in you, a lot. And I just think it's so cool. So yeah, the world. So I will actually go ahead and I will read to you what the world means, if I can get it. <laughs> Without my intuition, the world card. So here's the cosmic tarot. So the world. All right, I will actually read you your definition. Coffee drinker. I feel like you drink more tea. Okay. So a woman dances on a globe in the midst of the cosmos, surrounded by an angel, an eagle, a bull, and a lion. Roses stream around her off into the stars. She holds a shepherd's crook in her hands. Hmm. A staff. The world of all cards of the tarot most integrates 
all that has gone before and all that is to come. Like the other major arcana, the world card is interpreted by sections, the cosmos, the human community, and the individual, all of which outline the facets of our lives. The metaphysical shines into human life. The society in which we live affects the most private areas of our lives. Each card of the major arcana should be seen as an integrated whole, but the world card especially exemplifies this. So everything that I've told you, triple that, like times 10. You are more powerful than I thought. The cosmos, the world is the circle within the circle. The circle around the circle. It is the womb of the fool, the cosmos, fully realized. So the dancing movement of the human body, uh, custom and marked or naked, reflects the movement of creation and destruction. The deity Shiva is portrayed as the lord of the dance. Dancing is in cosmic fire. Um, a Quaker hymn calls Jesus to lord of the dance. Medieval Europe embraced a genre of art in which victims of the plague I don't know how she said that you, how she said you died. Victims of the plague are shown, following the Grim Reaper in a dense macabre. The rhythm of the dance is the rhythm of life and death, of the seasons of beneath, of breath of animals, people, and deities. So it speaks of higher beings. So that is just validating to me your past as a priestess. The creatures that surround the dancer are symbolic of the four elements. Angel is air, eagle is water, bull is earth, and lion is fire. The European genesis of the tarot is seen also in the fact that the animals are symbolic of the four gospel writers. Matthew, angel, John, eagle, Luke, bull, and Mark the lion. The shepherd's crook in the woman's hands also hints at an indication or oh, identification with Christ. So that would mean a higher level of consciousness you are able to ascend your consciousness a lot higher than most people. So um, the human community, well, okay, the world shows us the unity of end and beginning. The joy of the dance calls us to earthly existence, while the cosmos invites us to explore the unknown that lies beyond. So where are you going? Are you going somewhere? The human community. Sacred dance has been all but lost to the sanctuaries of mainstream Western religions. But elsewhere has a strong place. Dance as possession by a deity or demon. Demon. Dance in praise, fellowship, or prop propitation. Dance as meditation. Dance as reenactment. Or, oh, of the drama of deities and demons. Dance as a healing rite. So dance in any context can be an act of joy in uh, this cloth at a praying meeting, at a wedding, in a ballroom, or in solitude. So it's, it's, it's all just uniting it. So, the world is filled with suffering, and the miracle of joy happens again and again. Dancing, weeping, laughing, and hat hugging are spontaneous discoveries of the tender love we have for each other. So that just shows how loving again you are, your heart. It just shows me how big of a heart you've got. Now the individual. The cosmic tarot in showing a beautiful and voluptuous woman dancing in the cosmos brings the body to a divine level while losing nothing to the sensuous appeal of the dance. Experience is blended with innocence, the two not conflicting but complementary. Makes sense. That's making a lot of sense to me. The world card indicates completion of a work of art, a school, of a business deal, or of a team's pregnancy. All has been gathered and united. The result may awe even the creator. Celebrate. So something that you've done that you need to celebrate. So what is it that you've done? You're overcoming inner demons, triumphing over all of these things. That is a wonderful card. I, I love this. Don't be surprised if you get me contacting you with messages. That's just so amazing. So amazing. Thank you for letting me read for you. Thank you for letting me do your past life session. I think it's just amazing. It really is. Coffee talk with you. I would love to just sit with you and just just talk. I, f 
I love it. Alright, on another note, speaking of Egyptian, Osiris oil turned completely blood red. Completely blood, blood red. Did not know coconut was sacred to Osiris. Oh my god, it smells so good. Sorry guys, I always do that. Um, so yes, that oil is turning out amazing. So, alright Barbara, um, thank you for letting me do this for you. Um, it was fun, it was very fun. So, um, I will email you here, get on my page, I will email you. I'll let you know that this is going to be uploading, and all my love to you, and everybody else, I love you all very much, all my love to everybody, and love you all. One note, one little note, the people that come on here and threaten suicide, walk. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Don't come on my channel and threaten suicide because you've been reported to the National Suicide Hotline. So hopefully they can get you the help that, they, that you need. So, not you, Barbara. Not you. So, okay. I will be emailing you here very soon. I'm very excited about your reading. And I love you all very much. And I hope you guys have a great day. Great Monday. Right. Hi guys. We just session past life aggression. So, okay. All right, Annie. Are you still here? Yes. Okay. Okay. For Barbara, her most recent past life. E. G. Y. P. T. I. A. N. Is that a P? P. R. I. E. S. T. E. S. S. Okay, that's, that's just incredibly awesome. Egyptian priestess? Yes. Okay. I'm feeling like she's got... Barbara, do you have Egyptian things around your house that may be put up? Possibly put up? What, what year? Can we get a year? One. Five. Seven. One fifteen seven. B. C. Uh. Okay. Oh, that's a long, long time ago. Yes, and this was her most recent past life. Yes. Wow. So she was an Egyptian priestess. So amazing. Oh my gosh. What, a priestess of who? I. S. I. S. Isis. T. H. E. The. G. R. E. A. T. M. O. T. H E R the Great Mother A N D M A A T Isis the Great Mother and Momot Yes F E A T H E R as feathers. I'm seeing feathers, feathers being tied and tied into her hair. 
does she like feathers? I have a feeling that she, there's, I don't know, I see a big giant collection of feathers of all kinds. Nothing ever, it's, it's, it was never anything negative. Like she didn't go and pluck the, the feathers off the birds. But I just see different birds, different feathers. B A L A N C E balance I S is S H E I balance is she N N T H I S L I F E Okay balance is she in this life Yes. She's a healer. She heals. Yes. Okay. She's carried over something from ancient Egypt. What is she? She's carried over something. V. A. N. I. T. Why? Vanity? Vanity. Yes. Okay, I don't feel like it's, it's like a, it, it, I don't feel like it's a, like a, a vanity, like as in beauty and, uh, like obsessed with like looks and clothes and stuff. I feel like more it's, uh, a nat, like more natural ways to preserve and, and be healthy. Yes, so it's more more along the lines of vanity as in like health conscious. V E R Very M U C H S O Very much so. I N N T H I S. Is it a L or an M? L. I. F. E. All right. So very much so in this life. Yes. Okay. So what did, uh, as a priestess, what would have she done? What would have been going on? H. E. R. S. E. R V A N T S her servants her servants S H E she W A S N O T not T H E T Y P I C A L P R I E S T E S S uh, That was long. <laughs> She was not the typical priestess. No. How so? You said you mentioned her servants. The servants. T H E Y. They. A R E A L L I N. H E R L I F E A S O F N O W C O M I N G F R O 
M T H A T P A S T L I F E. Wow. Okay, that was really quick. Uh, Barbara, I hope you can actually uh, understand that. Okay, she wasn't the typical priestess, I know that. Um, her servants have popped up or they surround her in this life. Yes, okay. So the servants, what are they now to her in this life? F. A. M. I. L. Y. Family. A. N. D. F. R I E N D S family and friends. So they all came back to her from that past life, and they're all in her life right now as family and friends. Yes. <laughs> that is so cool. That is seriously so cool. Um S H E W A S K I L L E D She was killed. F O R H E R K I N D Kind N A T U R E. She was killed for her kind nature? Yes. She was too kind? Yes. T O O K I N D T O T H E S E R V A N T S Okay, so she had servants, but she was too kind for them, so she got killed for that. Yes. L O O K Look H E R T O M B Tomb U P Look her tomb up Yes S H E S T I L L L I V E S she still lives I N H E R M U M I F I E D T O M B Okay, that was really quick. Okay, so she's still alive. She her her past the the priestess that she was in the past, she still survives today because she's mummified. Yes. Is she a pharaoh? Yes. L O S T Q U E E N Lost Queen O F K E M E T. It's a T, right? Yes, it's a T. 
lost queen of Kemet, 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 Yes. I feel like that right now, like in her life right now, that she's got, she's just very, so down to earth, very caring, very kind. She, I don't know about kids. I, I feel kids. Yes. Yeah. Lots of, lots of just nature, nature, nature. I see lots of nature. I see lots of hiking. Um, I, I can see her canning her own uh, things from her garden. It's just, she's very magical, very special. Yes. S. H. E. She. D. I. D. B. R. I. N. G. She did bring a. L. O. T. A lot. O. F. H. E. R. Her. P. R. I. E. S. T. B. S. S. M. O. V. E. S. I. N. T. O. T. H. I. S. L. I. F. E. So she did bring a lot of uh, what she, what she was as a priestess, what she had learned, and her abilities over into this life. Yes, fibromyalgia. Do you have fibromyalgia, or some kind of? I don't know. I feel the deterioration of cartilage in my lower back. It feels like my, my lower back is giving out, as well as maybe my knee. So I'm not sure if that's if that's what I'm picking up on. I'm still seeing the feathers. I'm, I'm seeing stones, stone circles, like piles, like the uh, um, Irish, um, what are they called, cairns, cairns? Like how they make rock formations, just piles of rocks. Yes. H E she W I L L will U N D E R S T A N D T H I Yes. Okay, so she will, un she will understand this. Yes, okay. Wow. A priestess. That is really cool. That is very cool. So, um, okay, so they killed her because she was too kind. D how old was she? One. Four. Fourteen. Yes. Okay, fear. I fear. I feel like you've got some kind of fear, a phobia of some kind. A crazy, crazy phobia. Brought over from that life. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's spiders or snakes. Yes. <laughs> How did they, how did they kill her? T H I N N I N G 
thinning, thinning. Yes, what is thinning? B. L. O. O. D. Blood. L. E. T. T. I. N. G. Oh, God, I can see it. I can picture it. I feel like I'm going to pass out. There's a lots and lots and lots of blood. Yes. So she blood thinning, blood letting, letting of the blood. Yes. Yes. L. O. W. L. Y. Slowly. G. O. E. S. Goes. T. O. S. L. E. E. Okay, bloodletting is, it's like you slowly just go to sleep. Yes. C. H. R. I. S. T. I. A. N. I. T. Y. Christianity. A D A P E D adapted T H I S C O N C E P T T H O U S A N D S O F Y E A R S A F T E R E G Y P T I A N S D Okay, so Christianity adapted this form of torture thousands of years after the fact that the Egyptians did it first. Yes. So this, this was really her most recent past life was the Egyptian priestess. Yes. What was her name? S H A N T A S H A N T A Shanta Shanta Yes Okay, I feel like there's different there's many different names for her. She had different different names. Like everybody everybody called her something different but that was her real personal name, Shanta. Yes. S. H. E. She. 
L E T Gillette T H E S E R V A N T S U S E T H I S N M M E Wait a minute. I think I just said a bunch of letters like backwards or something. She let the servants use her name, her real name. Yes, okay. Is that what caused some of this problem? Yes. That's what I thought. I didn't think that the priestesses and the pharaohs could actually let the servants know their names. Like their real names. No. I'm, I, I'm picking up like Indian, Native American too. Yes. A, B, I, T. A bit. I, N, H, E, R, B, L, O, O, D, L, I, N, E, A, S, O, F, T, H, I, S, L, I, F, E. What? <laughs> Sorry, Ganny. So basically she has a bit in her blood, her bloodline, as of now, like this life, Native American. Yes, okay, I see, I don't know, where do you, I don't want to pinpoint where you live or anything, Barbara, and I'm glad that you changed your name so nobody will know. <laughs> That's good. That's, good. That's a good thing. I, I see desert, the desert, I, I don't know, deserts, uh, lots of deserts, lots of, uh, I, it's just dry land, dry, dry land, cactus. Yes. I don't know, stones and I just I see stones too. H E A Sorry if I say my A is wrong. L I N G S T O N E S Healing Stones. Okay, so that's what I'm saying is healing stones. I see big giant like bowls, yes. Bowls of like feathers, plates of feathers. I mean like crafts, beautiful, beautiful creations of nature. T H A T I S R I G H T. That's right. <laughs> I'm saying a green, a green, a green pendant. I don't know. I don't know what the green pendant is. It's like a malachite or a moldavite. It's one of those. There's a connection, big time. E. G Y P T Egypt Oh, the green, okay, the green, yes, the green, sorry 
the green Moldavite or Malachite. I think one of those actually comes from Egypt. Yes. Huh. So is there is there anything that she needs to like learn in, in this life from the past? It's kind of I don't know if she has like karmic bad karmic debt or no 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 bad karmic debt. A, B, A, T, a bit. Yes. Okay. So what, what would she need to learn in order to get through this bit of karmic debt? R. E L E A S E Release T H E I N N E R D E M O N S. Release the inner demons. Yes. Okay, I feel like there's. In my gut, it feels like I can uh, hold a grudge for quite a while. Yes. I also have sense maybe digestive problems. I don't know. So not not nothing major, but maybe I don't. It, it just some minor digestive problems. Yes. R. E. T. R. E. A. Retreat I S C O M I N G U P Retreat is coming up. Yes, she's going on a retreat. Yes. P I R I T U A L Spir oh, oh, spiritual retreat retreat. Yes. So like I don't know, I feel like I'm, it's a, it's more of a, a festival of some kind. Yes. H E A L I N G W I L L P R E V A I L healing will prevail D U R I N G T H I S P E R I O D. Healing will prevail, prevail during uh, the, oh, 
what was that during that period? Okay, so you're kind of hard to read, Barbara. It's I I know you gave me full permission to read you, but you're you're. I don't know if you have blockages up. Like I don't know if you're blocked in any way. I feel like that you're very energy an energy worker right now. Uh, like my lower chakras, the sacral chakra. A solar plexus they are all like acting up like crazy right now why e s t e r d a why yesterday yes was that something that was happening to her yesterday? Yes. Okay. Why do I keep saying bundles of... Bundles of... Sweet grass. And lavender. I see them hanging. Do you do herb... H E R B A L T R E A T M E N T Yes. Okay. So she makes her own herb treatments. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's very different. Very different. Okay. So what, it, what does she need to learn in this life? Release. That's what you said release of the inner demons. I can't believe I remember that. S H E she W I L L F I N D H E R R E L E A S E S O O N soon A N D T H E B L O C K S W I L L L I F T Okay, so I did not get any of that uh, soon, the, 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 it will happen soon and her blocks will be lifted. Yes, I smell cocoa butter, and I can't smell a thing. Cocoa butter, cocoa, maybe shea butter. I don't know, I see ointments and salves. Definitely salves. Yes. What kind of witch are you? Are you a, what, the present day witch? Yes. Huh. All right, Ganny. Well, thank you for for bringing this information through. That was really, really interesting. I have never in my life met a reincarnated uh, Egyptian priestess. Sh Shanta, Shanta. I'm gonna have to do some research. So, Ganny, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
I love you. Thank you for bringing this through. Hi, L. O. V. A. Y. O. U. Okay. I've never met a reincarnated Egyptian priestess. I am blessed and honored to meet you. And I hope you like the pyramid. I don't know why I brought it out. I always do. Okay. So what I do now is I take my my Shumbai pendulum. And what this is, I if I kind of think you already know what this is. I think you have this selenite. And that is angelic. You bring in the angels with that. Very powerful energy. Angelic and God energy. So what I do with the pendulum is I go over numbers and letters just to kind of see what it says. Okay, so I have it intertwined actually just like the snake. There we go. Okay. Seven. Please stop. Five. Please stop. Okay, so seven, five. M. Okay, please stop. Please stop. E. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, five. Please stop. Okay. So I don't know what that does. Well, I, I do know what it does, but it just sometimes gives you a little bit of information. Um, sometimes it's code. Sometimes it's... Uh, it could be latitude, longitude. It, it just, you know, depends on, you know, the, the past life and, you know, everything going on. So give me one minute and I will be right back and we will do a card for you. <laughs> 